Today, I share a video of me doing Chi Sao with someone from a different Wing Chun lineage. Hey, welcome to Practice Wing Chun, where we discuss Wing Chun and answering training related questions. My name is Edgar, and this is episode 69 of Practice Wing Chun. Today I'm going to share a video of me doing Chi Sao with my friend Mark from uh, last Saturday's Wing Chun meetup at Central Park in New York City. So let's just get right into it. Oh, just a quick note, we are both from different Wing Chun lineages, so let me know if you can spot the differences in our style. So let's go. You guys are one minute in, so... Let's talk about what was going through my mind uh, while I was doing Chi Cell here. So, the entire time I was looking for openings to strike Mark. But the problem was, you know, I see the openings, but seeing and doing is completely different. Because when I see the openings, Mark was ready and he was anticipating my strikes. So he's already preparing to counter strike and he's moving away from my strikes. So it made it really difficult for me to get in. And also, Mark had a three for one discount. Meaning, if I were to land one strike on him, he would have landed three on me. And I did not want that deal. So then I decided to use a more defensive strategy and try to keep away. But the problem is, if all I'm doing is defending, it's a losing strategy because eventually my defense will fail and it was just really tough to land any strikes on Mark. So I do land a few strikes on him, but the problem was they weren't really clear and precise, not as much as his were on me. So that's kind of what was going on through my head and you know there's a lot of things that I have to work on, especially since uh, Mark was definitely much more of a tank where he's just like forward momentum, really powerful and I didn't want to really get into the space because it was like danger zone. If I didn't have a, a plan B when I land a strike on him, chances are I would have gone counter strikes and he would have had me like 10 times. So I'm continuing going through these um, practices where I work on mobility, like staying light on the feet, moving around, uh, changing the angle. Um, it's, it's kind of a different approach to Chi Sao than what I'm used to when I'm doing it in class. Because in class, I'm more stationary. But, you know, outside uh, at the park, you know, on the grass, on a different uh, flooring, it's much difficult to just stay in place. You have to move or else uh, I would have bad footing. 
anyway, you know, this is the New York City meetup. Um, it's going to be a weekly thing. I hope it's going to be a weekly thing. And if you guys are interested, any of you guys who are in New York City that are interested, please let me know and I'll share the contact information, uh, location information with you. So until next time, keep training.